I'm Aaliyah, and today I will be reviewing the UV Mineral Sunkill RX powder. I got this from YesStyle, and I really like it because of the high SPF factor and the fact that it has very minimal ingredients. So without further ado, let's get started. There, it comes with a little mirror. It also comes with this puff on top. A lot of the reviews said that it's actually best to use it with a puff, so that's what I'll be doing. Before I do that, I'm going to be going in with some of my NYX HD concealer. I picked this up at Ulta. I'm just going to put a little bit under my eyes. And then a very small amount in these little like nose shadows I have over here. In, in my mouth shadows. So trying to brighten those areas up, etc. Depending on the day, I use my fingers or I'll use my sponge. I think for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the sponge. I have wet my sponge and it is ready for action. I personally am a big fan of dabbing motions. When I was younger, I used to paint a lot, and I think that tendency comes from that time in my life. I really like this stuff because it's inexpensive, the ingredients in it are relatively safe, it's available at pretty much any major box store and the coverage is pretty dang good so I'm a fan of that while we're at it we might as well do a little boop part on the forehead because <laughs> I heart you ah, ah, ah. I'm going to use this so apparently, you just kind of hit yourself in the face, and the product comes out the puff. And personally, I know that this is working because quite a bit of dust is coming off. It seems to be a fairly light coverage. Normally with foundations, I have fairly dry, sensitive skin. It's kind of combination and it's very sensitive. I have a lot of redness in my cheeks too. First impressions, the tone is light, but I think it is a little bit yellow, which, you know, makes reasonable sense. I got it from a from a Korean site and from my understanding most Korean people have yellower skin tones but the reason why I usually like Korean cosmetics is because a lot of them have pink tones in them mostly because it can brighten up yellow tones just like some yellow tones in foundations for pinker skins, like cooler toned skins, can sometimes brighten it up. Yeah. So I do have some pretty dramatic spots on my cheeks right now. I think because of that, I see myself in the future, especially because of the color difference, of using this as more of like a really light dusting setting powder and probably not my only sunscreen. As you can see here, I still have some old acne scarring showing through. I pigment up really fast whenever I have any blemishes or anything, so those are like ancient zits from high school. I think that having something like this is a really good idea because it's hot and you're sweaty and your skin's oily. Reapplying SPF, especially over your makeup, kind of sucks. So having a product like this where you can just use it over whatever you already have going on, I think personally is what really drew me to this. Very focused on sunscreen. 
Okay, I will do the rest of my makeup off camera and then come back. Okay, I've put on the rest of my makeup now. Now that I have the blush on, you can't actually super tell that I have a bunch of pigment that isn't being covered. I think that if I had some kind of event or was going out, I would definitely use a fuller cover foundation. But in this case, I'm actually okay with this as a daytime product and look. So I will now take you outside where you can see what it looks like in natural lighting and then I will show you what it looks like again before I take it off and let you know how it works. So this is what it looks like in natural light. It's a nice semi-matte finish. I'm actually pretty happy with it. See you soon. So I did that thing where I sleep in my makeup. But this is what this looks like after you sleep in it for about seven hours. So I'm pretty impressed with how it stayed on my cheeks and forehead. It completely came off on my chin, but I did sleep in it and I tend to roll around in things. So I'm pretty excited to try this out with other foundations as a setting powder because the staying powder seems pretty bomb. It didn't break me out or anything. That's awesome. And I'm just really enjoying how it looks, even though I slept in it. So, highly recommend this if you have better skin than I and you don't have acne scarring and stuff. This might actually be okay just as an everyday makeup product um, by itself, provided you do have the skin tone and everything. Again, it is sheer coverage, so if you have like light to medium skin, you could probably use it as a setting powder, which is what I'm gonna try to do. So I'll try it with some foundation as a setting powder and then update y'all.